I rise today to honor the life of Mike McGavern, or as he was affectionately known in my community, Papa Mike. Papa Mike passed away on July 1st. Mike McGarvin was born and raised in Pasadena, California. He attended Pasadena City College and studied graphic arts and management before heading north to San Francisco. It was in San Francisco in 1966 that he met Father Simon, a Franciscan priest who dedicated his life to serving and living among those in the Tenderloin. Meeting Father Simon was Providence, and Mike McGarvin would soon begin to follow in Father Simon's footsteps, studying the teachings of St. Francis of Assisi and working alongside Father Simon in a San Francisco coffee house called the Pavarello. In 1970, Mike Me met the love of his life, Mary. And together they moved to Fresno, where he began working as a photo engraver. It was while he walked the streets of downtown Fresno that he noticed the homeless and the hungry and decided to continue the work that he had started with Father Simon. So he and Mary decided to serve peanut butter and jelly sandwiches out of the trunk of their car. And it was with this, the simplest of acts, that they laid the cornerstone of what would become the Fresno Pavarello House. To date, thousands of men, women, and families have walked through the doors of the Pavarello House seeking food, shelter, medical care, rehabilitation services, and just an opportunity to get onto their feet. Since its inception, the Pavarello House has grown from a simple storefront to the expanded complex of emergency shelters, Naomi's House, and the Holy Cross Center for Women that help all men, women, and families to get back the dignity and respect they deserve. Throughout the years, Papa Mike and Mary chose to work and live next door to the Pavarello House in some of the most concentrated areas of poverty in our entire country. Papa Mike was widely respected, and although praise and titles were showered upon him, he remained at heart a deeply humble man. I know that the staff of the Pavarello House and the many community members who knew Papa Mike are saddened by this loss. But I also know that our lives have been strengthened and made better by Papa Mike's legacy of helping others with the simple acts of kindness. Papa Mike's generosity, generosity and spirit were unbounded. And I know that we will all do our best to continue in his legacy. My heart and prayers go out to his wife, Mary, his children and grandchildren as they heal, and I ask that we adjourn in the memory of Mike McGarvin. Thank you.